Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Always Secured Automation. In this channel we will talk about instrumentation and control in power plant. In this video, we will discuss about thermocouple working principle and types of thermocouple sensors. What is thermocouple? A thermocouple is a type of sensor used for measuring temperature and widely used in industries. What is the working principle of thermocouple? When two wires composed of dissimilar metals are joined at both ends and one of the ends is heated. There is a continuous current which flows in the thermoelectric circuit. Which means that when the junction of the two metals is heated or cooled, a voltage is produced that can be correlated back to the temperature. What is Seebeck effect? In the 1800s Thomas Seebeck was trying to make electricity from heat and he experimented with a circuit of bismuth copper and bismuth antimony. Converting thermal energy to electric energy. Electricity flows from hot to cold. The greater the difference in temperature, the greater the voltage. What is cold junction compensation in thermocouple? Thermocouple actually measures a differential temperature, not the actual temperature at the hot end. In order to know what the temperature is at the hot end, you need to know the temperature at the other cold end. To make the thermocouple a useful tool in the 1800, the cold end was put in an ice bath. Next, thermocouple voltage tables were developed based upon the cold junction end being in an ice bath. The voltage was recorded and looked up in the table's reference to the ice bath and the hot end temperature was derived. Cold junction compensation replaces the ice bath. An electronic circuit replaces the ice bath by adjusting the voltage, compensating as if the cold end was in an ice bath, hence we called it as cold junction compensation. A thermocouple thermometer has a connection point where the thermocouple attaches to it. This is the cold junction. It is not at the ice point so the thermoelectric voltage measure does not correlate to the thermocouple tables. The point where the thermocouple is connected to the copper connections of an instrument is the cold junction. Either a precision RTD or thermistor is used to measure the temperature at that point. The electronics of the system determine the temperature at this point and then computes the voltage that a thermocouple would make from the ice point to that temperature. The hot end is only producing voltage equivalent to the difference in temperature from the hot end to the instrument connection. This signal is not properly referenced to the ice bath tables. The cold junction circuit compensates for this missing voltage by adding or subtracting. The combined voltage is then properly referenced to a cold junction at the ice point and can be accurately converted to the true hot end temperature using the standard thermocouple tables. In summary, cold junction compensation compensates for the missing thermoelectric voltage due to the fact that the thermocouple cold end at the instrument is not at zero degrees Celsius. This then allows electronics to use the established thermoelectric voltage tables to determine the temperature at the hot end. Cold junction compensation is the reason that the thermocouple moved from the laboratory to the most widely used temperature sensor in industry today. What are the types of thermocouple? Thermocouples are available in different combinations of metals. The most common are shown in table. As per table the thermocouple available at different temperature. Thank you for watching our video.